Hi, Disco Darlings. Okay, so first of all, say hi to Charles. He'll be in pretty much most videos from here on out, even if he doesn't want to. Oh, he loves me. He loves you so much. I know it's been a second since I have made a video, but I've been starting to work out. She's a workout girl. She's a gym girl now. And here's the thing. Um, there are way more important things that are going on in this world right now than gym wear and clothes and Breonna Taylor's murderers are still running free. There's a pandemic, like what the hell who gives- Also, who gives a shit about like another like size six girl talking about like active wear? Nobody. This does not matter. But I did feel the need to like talk about my experience and like what I actually find important in active wear because I feel like on YouTube videos, I've watched a lot of these YouTube videos. They usually don't talk about the things that I actually really find important. Hit interval training, cardio and stuff like that. I really like to sweat and I sweat a lot. I have a pretty big butt and when shorts don't cover that and like they ride up a bunch, I get really frustrated and it stops me. It distracts me from working out. I'm gonna let you guys know from the get go, everything I buy in this video is a small. Um, I will link every single thing in the description box below and all of my measurements, which are very important. So you can just look at that right now. Like I'm just gonna like, give you a pause. You can look at that. Okay. Cool, let's like start this video. Okay, so this is um, a set from Kabbalah Collective. I don't usually get sets, but um, since I do happen to have the set of this, I figure I would start with it. And a big reason I wanted to start with this is because I have like the biggest bone to pick, honestly, with this company. These are the, um, their cheetah print um, crop, I don't know what they call it, crop, Bali and crop and their biker shorts. It looks super cute. That's the thing. That's This is the number one thing that I want you to take away from this, is that like, it's adorable. I do wear these shorts whenever I'm like, gonna go to the grocery store. When I'm trying to look adorable, like at a bar or something, yes, I will throw these shorts on in a pinch. Kavala brands itself as um, a brand that you're supposed to be able to like, go everywhere with, like, you are supposed to be able to go to the gym with these and go surfing with these and like go hiking and blah, blah, blah. Okay, I would do none of those other things with these clothes. This seam here is so freaking uncomfortable. When I worked out, it was the most uncomfortable workout I've ever experienced in my life. Obviously, I've moved on to like a more seamless short person. I don't, I don't really accept anything that isn't seamless at this point. That's who I am now, that's who I am. But before that, I bought these shorts and I was like, oh, they're so cute. I love them. I put them on forever. And like, they look, they look okay. Like, I, I think they look cute. But for how much they are, okay, so I think the shorts are 68 and the top is 58. Oh my God, that is so much money for things that I can't even work out in. Yes, they are sweat wicking, but that's literally because they're swimsuits. This is a swimsuit. And even actually that, I would not swim in these. They would probably go inside of me if I was gonna like actually go into water with them. Like just sweating with them, they are going so far. I'm giving birth to these things at the end of my workout. So I just, okay, I just had, I just had to say that. This is honestly the reason why I wanted to make this video in the first place. Like if you want something that looks cute near a pool and you don't mind like doing this, all day, then like, yes, buy these. Like, I'm not gonna, like, they're pretty cute. They cut in in this way that like, clearly the point is to like, maximize how small your waist is, which is cute. Like, that's a cute thing they do, but that's the only purpose I feel like of this gym, gym wear. See, I'm literally pulling, I'm, I'm pulling, I'm giving birth to these shorts right now. Great, I love that. Is there a crossfit gutch? The, uh, a, a crotch gossip? No, no, there is not. So they, 
I'll do this. Okay, first of all, this bra is the worst. Literally, my titties pop out of it constantly. It's ridiculous. I don't even have that big boobs. Like, why are my boobs coming out of this bra? Obviously, the back is freaking adorable. Like, I, I ugh, ugh. It's just very frustrating to like get a thing and it's like, you had one job. It was like, one job. Okay. All right, we're moving on. We're done. We're done. With, we're done with Kavala. Okay, switching gears. These shorts, well, first, first, I want to give you a little first thing. You have to look at this crop top. Now, those of you who have, are new to my channel, I have a video literally entirely about crop tops because I love crop tops so much. I found the best ever workout crop tops in the world. Well, in the world. I don't know. Well, so far in all my searchings, Lift Clothing Company, LFT is what it's called. I'll link it below, obviously. They're freaking wonderful. Look at how adorable this is. They're so good. And like they cut like right at like a very, for me, very flattering angle here that like accentuates the very little try work that I have been doing because I freaking hate push-ups. This was $22, it's in a small. And I love it so much, I wanna wear it all the time. It's quite soft, it's lovely. I mean, it's just perfect. It's, it comes with the exact perfect length, y'all know. So, the shorts, um, these are from Physique Apparel. Y'all need to get into Physique. The exact like opposite of the Kavala, as far as like actual wearability, these were, $35, so the price is absolutely right. I think $35 for these is absolutely correct. Like these feel lovely. This is the color blush. Um, and uh, I had, there was like, they were having like a 20% off sale. So I actually got them for $27. And they arrived really quickly. It was a really good company. I, I am absolutely going to buy more of these shorts. Um, they have a lot of different other colors. First of all, we're looking at a, we're looking at a no seam. We're, talking, we're looking at a seam less area here immediately so much more comfortable i just don't even know why we have seams anymore there is no seam at the waistband i'm weird about seams on the waistband okay guys I, I, obviously i'm like no seams but then also i need something to like stay up because this rolling down nonsense that happens during hit workouts i i that annoys me so much it's just very distracting like any little bit of anything that is not just my brain moving will distract me from like the workout that I would like to stop doing. This is, this annoys me, but they stay up pretty well. Um, actually everything stays up quite well with these. They really stay stuck to my thigh and don't like start slowly becoming underwear. Here's the thing, because they're like so like stuck on my thigh, some, you can see that they're kind of like grasping it for dear life, which is not super attractive looking. For me, I'll take a little bit of this in order to keep like the the shorts where they should be. Like, th like them rolling up is more annoying to me than the holding my thigh for dear life. And it's not terrible, but it's just enough that like, it's a little, it's a little weird. Oh, and because it does that, it has this little like, thing right here that's not super cute. Like it's a little, little it, it's squeezing me here and then my butt is going over so then there's like a little fatty tissue there. I mean like, whatever, like my butt's, my butt is fine. It's going to call attention to itself no matter what I do, so. This booty action is what it does is it goes down. This is, this is what I figured out is the most attractive thing for me to be doing is getting shorts that have like a little dip right um, near my, what is this, my sacrum? Is that my sacrum? Yes. And then going uh, back around and like this little dip is also super attractive. So these little dips, these divots are very good for the bootay. Um, and if you have a large bootay, um, I would I would recommend you, you look for things that do this as well. I'm not a big fan of the thing that like, like Lululemon does this a lot and it's very frustrating is there'll just be a line directly over my butt like what the hell is, what the hell is that? I hate that. It looks bad. It looks bad every time. I'm I'm over gym wear that makes my butt look bad. I don't see like the point of gym wear that where my butt doesn't look great. Like what? Like that's why I'm working, okay, out. It is not super sweat wicking and it definitely shows some sweat, but I'm okay with that. It's not like, it's not like it looks like a, I was gonna say avalanche, not avalanche, waterfall. It's fine, 
But uh, for people who are like, I don't want anything to show sweat, then like, don't get this colorway. It has like a little poke it. I'm not a poke it person for um, workout gear. I don't really, I don't really care. But it is cute to have. I mean, every once in a while I'll use this thing, but it's mostly, I mean, it's a nice sizable pocket. I can probably fit my phone in there. If it's not, roll. See, look at that. Nothing, not a baby. So. These are the Black Milk Repinit Silver Highway Smackdowns in the small. That's a freaking handful. Mouthful. They're super high waisted and they're. I got these in January 2019 and they're limited, so you can't find these anywhere. I am showing them to you to explain my experience with this Black Milk gym wear. If you want to find these, you have to like go on Poshmark or like the are some swap groups on Facebook. You know that I love me some black milk. I have a whole black milk collection. I love, 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 love black milk. This gym wear, I don't know. Okay, so first of all, the seam. You know I'm upset already. They feel cool. They're clearly like an active, they're, they're like a performance material. Like they're very stretchy and, and tight and like, like they're for like, let's, let's go work out. Like that's what they feel like. Um, the actual experience of using them, they're like constantly rolling up. I'm always having to pull them down. This has a seam at the top, so this doesn't fall down. So that's nice um, for me. I, I, am, I don't mind there being a seam up here if it means that it won't like flip over. That's me, I said it before, I'm saying it again. This, this straight line doesn't do me any favors. Neither does this. Not, not great on the booty scale. And they, they just, they just, you feel really cool when you're in them. I, I personally feel really cool um, wearing these shorts. Um, they have like a little pocket, like a deep, a deep, like look at this, deep old pocket. Yeah, they just aren't actually great. <laughs> performance, like they're not, they don't do well <laughs> when I'm actually doing stuff, which is really frustrating. Um, Cause I love black milk, but I don't know if I'll ever buy any more of their active wear after dealing with this, um, these shorts. Um, as cute as they do look, but it might just be because they're black. Cause I don't really like, a lot. in the end, black is the most slimming and most flattering, like, let's be real. Boo -boo -doo, boo -boo, black is beautiful. Do, 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 do. Um. Okay. These are um, Stax uh, Best Black Bike Short. Um. And okay, so they're called Best Black Bike Short, but like they look almost like sometimes like I'm looking at them and they're like almost blue. Like that is black. This looks a bit lighter. They are very secure feeling. Um, when I'm like, I'm gonna go hog wild that day, I will throw on these um, these shorts and they're not, they're not going anywhere. Like they don't have a seam up here, but they do have a seam, have, their seams here are like super strong. Like they are not, this is not letting go of my leg. It's not going anywhere. And they're a bit longer, which makes me also feel more secure. Um, obviously, the longer the short, the more like, the less likely they are to go and turn into panties. They're not the most flattering thing I've ever put on my body. My butt looks pretty good because of this little dipsy doodah that they have here. I don't know what, the, what am I what am I even saying? But um, the curve here is very nice and forgiving to my boot top. I do love them because. Um, they actually do what a gym short is supposed to do, which is like make me feel like I can do anything really in them. Let me show you. Yeah, these these are not these are not these are great. Weirdly, they do have a seam, but they have this um, the the crotch gosset. Say that word correctly. Um, goes down these sides and um, prevents a lot of that camel toe action. Not as much as a seamless, completely seamless one would but they're, they feel fine. They feel, they feel okay. This is stacks, but I just, I feel like people sleep on stacks. This material feels really sturdy and really amazing. Like this is a very, this is a very cool brand. And I just like it's stacks. Like it just makes me feel strong. Stacks. Last, but 
satin and not least, the Gymshark Vital Seamless in brown marl. They're their newest color. And I just want to point out really quickly, I bought these shorts on Thursday. They arrived Monday morning. That's insane. I'm in the US, like during a pandemic, like how did you get these shorts to me so fast? But like Gymshark, wow. Like that's, that's, that's professional. People love their Gymshark. And I was just like, all right, God damn it. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna freaking try the goddamn Gymshark. I wanna get my hands on one of these freaking things. They sell out so goddamn fast. But this color, ugh, like where, where else is there a color like this? This is so, so beautiful. And like the moment I put these on, I was like, Yep, this is why people like Gymshark. I get it. It feels like a hug. Feels like a hug on my butt. I really was worried they were gonna be too short. Um, but they actually, they like, they go down a, 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 a nice length. They were $40, which is, besides the Cavallo, the most expensive shorts in this bunch. Um, but, I, I think it's worth it. I mean, this material is lovely. Like this knit stuff is really nice and it doesn't squeeze my legs a lot, which is nice. Um, problem is when I'm doing my workouts, when I'm doing my things, they do ride up a bit. Let me show you. Yeah, they don't ride up too bad. Um, and they're just so soft feeling. It doesn't like constrict me in any way. It's just like, slowly riding up. Yeah, I just I just like the way they look. Here's the thing, like I'm just like, yeah, these aren't doing every single thing I need performance wise. Like they're sometimes doing a little flippy flip here and they're drilling up a teeny bit down here, but they just look so good. And oh, the seamless obviously makes them like fairly comfortable. Like the seamless is the number one thing. They're not doing great on the booty scale, would be 100%, like they're okay. Um, there's like a very slight raised line here, but it's not actually doing anything. I would rather like have an actual separation of my booty so that I don't just have a unibutt, but it's like two different butts right here. Um, I would prefer that for sure. I literally, I put them on yesterday and I did not want to take them off. <laughs> I wore them through my nap. I wore them out skating. I just... I just like them. I like the little uh, logo is nice and simple. I don't like the big like, Gymshark, you are branding Gymshark. If I did choose between the, or, or choose which of my, which were my favorite shorts of this bunch so far, I would say either these, uh, it's a tie between these and the physique apparel ones. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe, all that jazz. I will be making more videos. Um, should grad school not get in my way too much? I'll probably do a leggings one, as well as um, I ordered the Balance Athletica uh, rider shorts from the Kingdom Collection. They won't get here for freaking ever, but I'll let you guys know if those are my perfect shorts. Cause none of the, I mean like I showed all you all these shorts and some of them are really good, but none of them are like holy grail shorts in my opinion. None of them are like perfect. I know you guys love my big shoes, so I'll do some shoe videos. I've definitely been buying shoes. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye. Stay safe, wear a mask for the love of God. Please, please wear a mask, please.